In this super fast quick fire version of the run and gun skirmisher build video, we will cover the weapons, armour and powers you need to pull this off, as well as the architect extension for a more focused approach and the methods for all situations in Mass Effect Andromeda. All of this as fast as possible. For a more in-depth build guide with full explanations over a huge 20 minutes, click on the card on the top right of the screen now. Let's get right into it. So first is the Darn with the bioconverter and the rest kinetic coils, mods being barrel and receiver. This is your primary weapon. The second is a sniper rifle, whichever you prefer, for the long range and to break up the constant Darn usage. I personally use the Black Widow. I would recommend a bioconverter if you have one to spare, but if not then Battlefield Assist module is also good, then a double mod extension and kinetic coils to fill. As for mods, if you use the bioconverter, then leave out the spare ammo mod. If you didn't, then leave out the weight reduction mod. Your melee weapon should be the Asari sword filled with kinetic coils. Others, such as the Remnant Cry Gauntlet, are also acceptable. The architect weapon is the Piranha with the Seeking Plasma System, Aerial Performance Optimizer and kinetic coils to fill. Barrel and receiver for mods. For armor, go for the Helios helmet. Chest should be either Remnant or Maverick, if above 60, go Maverick. For arms and legs, go for Angaran. Put a shield oscillator and kinetic cores to fill in the chest. Aerial lubricant is usable for the arms, but optional. Cry condenser, heat inducer or shield disruptor can be used on the legs, but also optional. Fill every other armor slot with tech recharge modules. For the fusion mod, go for the fusion mod of shielding. So your three main powers are Tactical Cloak, Cryo Beam, and Energy Drain. Your architect specific powers are Turbo Charge and Charge. Pause the screen or download the images from Imgur via links in the description. For passives, the priority passive skills for this build are Team Support, shotguns, sniper rifles, and combat fitness. The passives you should focus on afterwards are barrier, offensive tech, auxiliary systems, and combat tools. Every other skill point should be spent in combat till full, then tech till full, then biotics till full. So in your run and gun loadout you'll have your Darn and Sniper Rifle with Tactical Cloak, Cryo Beam and Energy Drain with the Profile Infiltrator. The method here is to use Cryo Beam then Energy Drain to debuff armour by 115%, take away large amounts of shield, score a tech combo then you can hit Tactical Cloak to get a supercharged shot off from your Darn and finish off quickly after with further shots. The two powers Cryo Beam and Energy Drain in this build debuff or cripple every enemy out there. You then finish the enemies off with highly buffed weapon fire. Tactical Cloak's primary purpose is for survivability. Its duration is 11 seconds, its recharge is 10. You could indefinitely stay in Cloak to regenerate if you wanted. The recharge I should add is 10 at base. You have one hell of a lot of recharge buffs. It recharges in a few seconds, as do all of them. On Insanity you can use Cryo and NG on all enemies at least once. Now this is the fun one, for fighting architects you need your Darn and Piranha, Tactical Cloak, Turbo Charge and Charge, and either use the Soldier or Explorer Profile. Depending on how many points you've spent depends on which one is better, so if you have the bare minimum I've stated, Explorer is currently the best, if you have filled a lot of combat then Soldier is better. The tactic is super simple. Time each attack just after the machine gun attack. Each architect does the attacks in a different pattern, so make sure you do your attacks after the machine gun one, so that it doesn't do it while you're exposed. Go for the first leg and hit turbocharge, tactical cloak, and then charge the leg in quick succession. As soon as you reach the leg, hover and dash backwards, still hovering and loading your entire clip into the leg. That should take it down, if it doesn't just hit it a few more times from cover while turbocharge recharges. Once the leg is halfway down, the face will be exposed. Once again, wait for the machine gun, then repeat as you did on the leg, being very aware of where you dash while up there. The architect will face your team the second you hit tactical cloak, and once you're out, will retarget you. This makes the head move around constantly and can be a little tricky to aim after the charge and dash. 
if the clip didn't do it, finish it off from the ground. Between mini phases, constantly keeping cloak, you can revive from it, grab extra ammo for your piranha and more. When ads show up, switch to darn to conserve piranha ammo and utilise charge and cloak due to their super fast recharge time. Do each leg to half without fully destroying one and set your squad mates on the half legs to get them down to as close to 0% health as possible. Once you've done 3 to 50% or lower and hit the face 3 times, finish the leg off. Then follow it, finish another leg off. Follow it again, then finish the last leg before face and job done. Always keep your squad mates focused on either a leg or the face to ensure maximum support fire. I've posted a video of me doing this with the architect on Kadara. You can find that video either on screen at the end, via link in the description, or via the card in the top right. So this was as quick as I could really make it. If you want more details and you can find the full 20 minute in-depth version above on the left and the architect example fight on the right. Like if you liked, dislike if you didn't, subscribe if you haven't already and have an awesome day folks.